In Colchester, teenage girls stand shivering beside the roadshow truck of local radio station SGR. It's a Saturday afternoon and an unsigned boy band by the name of Derail are performing a bizarre version of Maniac from Flashdance. They follow that with what will be their first self-released single, a charity ballad called How Do I Say Goodbye? Afterwards, Derail hang around to sign autographs, all part of trying to promote themselves. And so it seems as if Chris, Robert and Matt are famous. But hardly anyone here today knows or cares who Derail are. Derail won't even be paid for their efforts. It will be a miracle if they sell one extra record as a result. Three months on from this date and Derail have released How Do I Say Goodbye under their own steam, but it has sold only 1,300 copies, hitting number 63 in the charts. Despite this indication that their music is simply not good enough, they have left their manager and are ploughing ahead with a new single, whose video they shot in March for £3,000 after Chris negotiated the production company down from their quote of 25000 Hello, Helda. Hello, good morning. Hi there. Hi. Uh... I, 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 yes, I am, I'm fine. Uh, are you hearing me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, you have been reading something that I, 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 I couldn't uh, find, uh, find out the text. You know? Okay, well, up, up the post, the page was posted in the lesson, but yes. I can give you the link to the page too. One moment, I shall give you the page too, and you can try to load the page. So in the verbling chat, I will post the link. Can you see? There will be some phrasal verbs in this that we can look at. Oh, I've lost you. I've lost you. Andrea, hello. Hi. Andrea. Hi. Hi. I'm, I'm well, thank you. So we're reading today about the music business. There are different acts, different bands and different acts. A, B, C, D, E. So I've read A derail and we're going to read about the other acts as well okay today uh, we're also going to look at some phrasal verbs today uh, which appear in the text so for example look into freed up plowing ahead hovering around we have some phrasal verbs how are you with phrasal verbs? Um, I, I know some phrasal verb, but uh, my, my English is <laughs> is uh, a little bad, and so I I would uh, learn uh, 
more more phrasal verbs. Well, let's see if we can find a few phrasal verbs uh, now, and then if we find them in the text, it should make it easier. Um, now, I would like to look for a phrasal verb, any phrasal verb, which means continue doing something, even though it might be difficult. Now, have a look down the list. It's actually one of those in the list one to eight. Uh, look into, freed up, plowing ahead, hovering around, turned out. One of those means continue doing something even when it's a little bit difficult and tough going. Any idea which that might be? Well, if you're not sure, let's have a look at some of the others there. Do you know number one, look into something? Uh, I've looked uh, into into this, but so yeah. far I, I haven't been able to find anything out about it. That's really a very, very good sentence. I've looked into this, and so far I haven't been able to find anything out about it. Find out, you used another phrasal verb there, find out, didn't you? So look into and find out go to go together very well like a pair. Great. And Helder, are you okay on that one? Look oh, yes, I'm, I'm okay, okay. Yeah, look yes. into uh, something and then you find out. Now, if we say look into or find out, then we can change those to formal verbs or one-word verbs. So could you try to do that, please? If I say look into um, this for me, could you replace look into yes. with another verb? Yes, examine. Examine this for me. That's quite close, yes. Uh, examine. Analyze. Yeah. Analyze this for me. Okay, great. And what about find out? Find out. Yeah, discovery. Discover, yes. Discover. So let's have a look down the list and see if we can figure out. I just used another one, didn't I? Figure out. You see, we use them all the time yeah. if we are uh, speaking informally to yeah. figure out something. Yeah. So do you know this one? Yeah. Yeah. So let's check down that list then. One of them in that list means to continue doing something even when the going gets tough. Which one do you think it is, guys? Either of you can just call out the answer. And if you're not sure, then just like the millionaire, the millionaire quiz game, you can ask a friend in the verbling chat. Um, are you asking me? Yeah, what do you think it is to continue doing something when it is difficult? Lost you again. Ploughing uh, ahead. Ploughing ahead. Yeah, Plowing. actually, you might find it difficult to, to look up because there are different versions of it. Uh, for example, I've, I've heard forging ahead. Um, a forge is a kind of metalworking place like blacksmiths, and forge ahead also has a similar meaning. And there are different versions of some phrasal verbs. So, to plow ahead. Could you give me a sentence with plow ahead? Um, no. <laughs> uh. Well, I'll, I'll give you one. I'll make one up now. So, um, my business was struggling along and I, weren't, I wasn't making any profits. But we decided to plow ahead and hope for better times in the future. Alright, so plow ahead. And um, you're playing bouncy. <laughs> Both of you are. So, um, let's have a look then. I want to find one which means to do something which takes a long time. 
Now it may not be on the list, so you can find any words or any phrasal verb to do something which takes a long time. Um, look forward to. No. If you look forward to something, it's something in the future which you're happy it's about. Like, isn't isn't it? uh, gearing up. Ge gearing up, that is, gearing up. Have yeah. you heard of the TV program uh, about cars in the UK? And it's called Top Gear. Top Gear, yeah. Well, this is gear. Gearing up is getting yeah. ready for something because you're getting in, get into gear. Um, now, get into gear, the, the word gear can have two meanings, at least two meanings. There's the gear on a car, but if I say, I like the gear that you've got, that you're wearing, what then, what is gear then? Do you know another meaning for gear? gear uh, so in a car we have first gear, second gear, room room, but uh, gear can be something else as well. Uh, yeah. So top gear could be good quality clothes. Yeah. Or equipment. What gear do we need to take with us? What gear? So it could be equipment too. But if you are gearing up, then you're putting your car into gear, but you're not actually driving yet. You're getting ready to drive. Mm -hmm. So your foot is on one of the pedals. Which pedal on a car do you put your foot on to stop the car from engaging? Um, Which? The clutch, that's good work, yeah, clutch. So, hey, do you know all of them? The clutch, the accelerator or the gas pedal and the um, brakes, yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's have a look down the list then. We've got, um, we've, we're still looking for one to do something which takes a long time. Um, I can't think of that one right now. I can't remember which one that is. So we'll skip down and come back to that one. To be happy about something that is going to happen. That's on the list there. Look forward to. Yeah, I look forward to it. I look forward to Christmas. I look forward to the next time we meet. Um, can you read the next one we're looking for, Andre? Uh, to find out more by getting the necessary information. Now, we've already said that one, haven't we? We've all already spoken about it, so which one is that? because it's got the words find out and we said find out look into to find out something and it goes with look into so we've done that one I think so let's move on to E welcome back again <laughs> Okay. So we're looking at the phrasal verbs to make a system work more easily. Uh, uh, up. <laughs> more easily. Free up. If you free something up, that's a little bit different because it's. For example, I have some cash which I want to use, but it's okay. tied up. It's tied up because it's allocated. So I need to change that. I have to free it up, reallocate it, or make it accessible. So I free it up. No. Right, well, I think we'll go on and just see if we can find some of these phrasal verbs now in the text. So um, I'll move the text down and we'll take turns reading. So A, waiting for derail to turn up. So this one. Um, Helder, can I hear you just read this one? Is it big enough? Can you see? Uh, waiting for derail to, to turn up? Yeah. 
Uh, okay. In Coster. In Coster. Colchester. Colchester. Uh, Colchester. Yeah. In Colchester, teenage girls stand shivering beside the, the roadshow track of local radio. 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 Okay. Yeah. Radio station. Uh, SGR. It's a Saturday afternoon, and and using an 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 unsigned boy. Unsigned. Unsigned. Uh, boy. We sign our signature on a piece yeah. of paper. So unsigned. Now, what does it mean then if we are unsigned in the music? Unknown. No. Not exactly unknown. It's a bit different. Lots of people are quite well known, especially in their local area. They can be very well known but they're not signed. So could you dis define it in a slightly different way? If you are unsigned, you don't have something. You don't have a, re a record contract. You don't have a recording contract. Ah, okay, okay. So, in this, this is looking at the music business uh, rather than music. You know, I'm quite interested in music. The music business is another thing. The music business is all about business and um, signing people and getting their signatures. So, it's a Saturday afternoon and an unsigned boy band. So, now we've lost you again. Uh, so, well, perhaps, Andre, could you just continue? Uh, an unsigned boy band by the name of The Rail are, are performing a bizarre ver version of Maniac. 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 From Flash Dance. They follow with with what uh, will be their, their first self release, the single, a charity ballad called How Do I Say Goodbye. And when you say that word ballad, say not ballad but ballad. Ballad. Um, afterwards, Derail hang around to sign autographs. To sign. To sign out autographs. Aut autographs in English, or autographs. Autographs. All part of trying to promote themselves. And so it seems as if Chris, Robert, and Matt are famous. But hardly. Famous, famous. okay. Famous. But hardly anyone here today knows. Of cares who derail are. Derail won't even won't even be paid for their efforts. Efforts, efforts, efforts. It will be a, a, a miracle. A miracle. Miracle if they sell one extra rec record as result. As a result. As a result. Yes, right. As a result. Okay. Hello again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry but I have uh, been reading, but. No, no, uh, this uh, doesn't work well. Uh, Your connection's a bit of a problem, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Okay. But I can, I can repeat uh, if you want. Well, let, let's not repeat. Let's plow ahead. So, um, <laughs> you see, I'm using that phrasal verb. Let's just plow ahead, plow well, on. Okay. So, um, we're, well, Andre's just reading at the moment, and then you can read it a little bit as well, but Andre, can you just continue where you were? Yes, um, three months on from this date and Derail have released How Do I, How Do I Say Goodbye under their own, own steam. But under their own steam, yeah, this is a, a extra information about how they did it. They released How Do I Say Goodbye under their own steam. I'd like you to think about what that expression might mean. How did they do it? Under their own steam. So there's a clue in this expression as to the meaning. And so I think maybe we can guess what this means. If you do something under your own steam, think about steam as a kind of power. What do you think it means? Uh, maybe they, um, under their uh, uh, production, uh, they um use the use their money to release how do I say goodbye yes they, they didn't get somebody else to produce it for them they did it so they probably paid their own money and they maybe uh, maybe they organized their own 
studio time and everything like this. So if you do something under your own steam, then it means that you didn't really get much help. You did it um, off your own bat, we can say too. With their force. Your own efforts, yes. By yourself. So, alone. Right, let's just continue then. Can you just read on from there? Uh, oh, me? Uh, yeah, carry on. You carry on now for A. Uh, but uh, uh, it has sold only uh, 1,030 uh, hundred. 300 copies. 300 copies. Uh, hitting uh, no 63 in the charts. Despite this indication that their music is simply not good enough, they have left their manager and are plowing ahead with plowing. a new single. Say plowing ahead. Are plowing ahead with a new single, whose video they shot in March for uh, uh, three thousand uh, three thousand pounds, I think. Yes. Uh, after Chris negoti uh, negotiate, negotiated the production, the production company down from their quote of twenty-five thousand of pounds. Yes. Now, uh, quote. But when we say negotiated, let's get the stress pattern. It's in, it's in second syllable. Negotiated. And when you see no sixty-three n o dot, how do we read it? We read it as number 63. Number, okay. Number 63. Right, so, um, the vocabulary. Can you look in that paragraph and just check through to see if there's anything that we don't understand? Oh. Um, the rail won't, uh, won't even be paid for their efforts. Efforts, yes. Efforts. When we say this word, we put the stress at the beginning, quite squarely at the beginning, so efforts, not efforts, but efforts. Efforts. Yeah, just like you did. So, okay, we understand it. So, we, we need to try to remember a bit about each of these for the questions later. So, this band whose name I quite like because it sounds like um, a word play. If you are derailed, but not just one letter D, but D-E, derailed, what happens to a train if it is derailed? Uh, it, um... <clears throat> And where is everybody today? I do, I, I've never seen it so quiet here. Maybe we've got the double lesson today and people have joined the other lesson, but it seems very quiet. If something's derailed, then it comes off the tracks. You know sometimes that a train can be derailed. What, what could cause a train to be derailed? What? What could cause, what could be the reason for a train becoming derailed? Oh, maybe the, uh, I don't know, pilot uh, was a... Uh, I think it would be a driver. In a driver train. was distract. distracted. Distracted? Distracted, yeah. And maybe that might cause the train to be dis derailed, to, to come off the tracks. Or maybe some kind of accident or something on the tracks, like a stone or tree. All right, let's move on. Let's go to the next one. Um, Heldo, Hello. you can try, try reading the next one. I hope you can make it through. Okay. So can you read B, please? Yeah. Uh, will be, will he, he make it? Uh, um, there, there's also a 27 year old Bass who has been in the pop game for six years now. In Bass' experience, record companies can be for unforgivable, unforgivable, unforgivably. Ah, yeah, uh, unforgivably cruel. A new, a few years back, he approached one label whose records he had collected in childhood. 
when his former manager called to ask their thoughts, he was told, no, he was told, no, we were not interested in him at all. Baz is looking now for a P and D production and distribution deal to pay for its release. If it hasn't happened by the age of uh, 29, I will look into doing something else, he says, unconvincingly, unconvincingly. If being a pop star doesn't work for him, he might, he might manage other artists. Lofty ambitions for a man who has put together several singles but not yet released one let alone got on inside the top 40. Yeah, okay, so just finish off there. I think we've lost you again. Yeah. Okay, so Helder, if you can hear me, um, then one or two things. Well, first of all, Bazes, you see the possessive Bazes experience. So we, when we have that apostrophe S, Bazes experience, we need to pronounce it like that in Bazes experience. So there's also 27 year old Baz who has been in the pop game for six years now. When they say the pop game, they're speaking about the business pop game. Pop field. Yeah, the field, it could be the field, that's good, yeah, field. So sometimes there are different words used to describe your work or your business. And um, uh, once again, <laughs> it's failed. Yeah. Okay, so just finish off your Baz. Let alone got one inside the top 40. Oh, uh, the top 40? Ah, yes, let alone gone inside the top 40. Baz, meanwhile, is gearing up for the release of, the, of, its, his, of his first single, Positive Reaction. Yeah, that should be its first single, shouldn't it? Yeah. He signed a P&D deal covering the man manufacturing of 1,000 CDs, distribution and planning. I like the... I'll, I'd like this single to go top 10, Baz says. But yeah, I, you know, we would say Baz says. Um, usually he says. He, we don't say in English he says. We say you say, I say, he says. Yeah, uh, he, uh, Baz say, says. Yeah, usually we, for the third person, he or she, uh, we say, says, like, so, says. Yeah. He, he says, says. He, he says, says. Uh, says. It's not he says, but yeah, I, says. We, I say, uh, says. She, she say, says, she says, I think because, well, we, because we, you know, when we have um, the he or she, we add an S, yeah. and when the S is added on the end, then it's easier to say says. Says, yeah. Says. So everybody says, he says, he she says. says. I, says. I say, she says. She says. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And um, can you see that Baz has experience in Baz's experience? Yeah. Yeah, so we have an apostrophe there. Uh, also, be careful with the ah uh sound. So I'm looking for which words are there with an ah uh sound? Um, well, oh, we lost you again. We're having some problems today, aren't we? All right. Well, we've got gearing up there, um, plugging. Now, let's have a look at that word plugging. Can you tell me about that word, Andrea? What does it mean? And um, plugging. Um, I don't know any informatic uh, language. Um, a plug-in. I know plug-in. Well, there's literally plugging in, yes. Um, it's a software, but I don't know plug-in. When it's used in the context of advertising or promotion, promoting or p production and um, distribution or anything like this or marketing, 
plugging means to connect it to some place where people can see it. So if you're on the radio and you plug something, you play it on the air and you make sure that everybody knows about it. So plugging something is giving it every opportunity to be switched on and let people see it. So this is a kind of marketing word sometimes. Okay. So um, we've got let alone as well. Let alone. Let's have a look at the structure with let alone. When we speak critically or negatively about something, uh, for example, we think that he's never going to make it. We, we don't think he'll make it because we say lofty ambitions. So we think it's too high for him, lofty ambitions, for a man who has put together several singles but not yet released one. So he hasn't even released one, let alone got one inside the top 40. So let alone is used in this way where we say that he hasn't even done this, let alone this higher step. So um, if I wanted to be something like um, a prime minister, but I have not even become any kind of politician, then can you make a sentence with let alone? Um. I'll finish that one, shall I? I'll finish that sentence and then you can think of another sentence. So I, um, or let me speak about another person because we usually use this way of speaking about somebody else. Um, he hasn't even joined a political party, let alone become prime minister. So this is the structure. One little step yeah. hasn't been done, let alone the bigger step. Can anybody make a sentence with let alone? That he say, implies that French is a lot more difficult. It's, <laughs> but um, I suppose it, it could make sense. Let alone is is used as uh, after a negative statement or no? Uh, well, it 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 emphasizes the negative step or the negative statement by saying that. Suppose we need to take two steps, or we need to take two steps to get somewhere. Um, then, if we haven't even taken the first step, then we can't get to the second step. We need first to walk before we can run. So we could say, um, he can't even walk, let alone run. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, the baby can't even sit up yet. But uh, let alone walk or... Yeah, perfect. A baby, uh, let me write that one down because that's great. So the baby... Cannot even sit up yet or... Um, but let alone walk. Um, you know? I'm going to write a, another one like that as well. The baby can't speak yet, uh, let alone uh, recite Shakespeare. So let alone is used in this way. There are some other structures similar to this. Let's go on to C now. We're halfway through the lesson time, so I want to get more done. So C. Andre, can you t take over C? Um, Zneha mystery. Another, another one bites the dust. Making more progress is a 24-year year old Znana Mystery, known as Mystery. She's, she's looking... When you say n uh, known, don't make it sound like noun, but n make it sound like phone. Known. Known. She's, look, uh, uh, she's, looked, at, uh, she's looked into um, PND deals, but when she wanted to release uh, her first single herself last year, she, re uh, she released she realized, she realized, she re realized 
that uh, if she paid uh, for the manufacturing and, distribu and distribution, she wouldn't be able to afford a video or a publicist. 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 Uh, instead, she contacted OD2, a, down uh, a download operator, who agreed to sell her truck online, which freed up uh, cash for adver advertising. To pay for intoxicating, Mystery took out an uh, mm, £11,000 uh, pound loan, £5,000 of which went on a, vi uh, on a video. I hate to think now, I have to think how, uh, how much it's cost over the last five years, she says, but uh, it has been an investment. You see people on, on pop idol shooting into the charts having only been trying for six months, but they disappear just as quickly. By doing in this way, I know that if, when I make a, su a success of this, I'll be able to keep going. Mystery has now sinned to a management company and his leave dates lined up uh, throughout the summer. That last sentence, um, we've got two words which need to be pronounced in a different way because the word L-I-V-E is actually an adjective here and you used the verb. So could you just read, uh, mystery has now, again, that last sentence. Uh, mystery has now signed this. Yeah, that's the first correction. And then the next correction I want is the word L-I-V-E as an adjective and not a verb. Uh, uh, live and has live. Yes, but it's not live because live, live is a verb. Okay. Live. Has so, live. Yeah, you know the difference, don't you? Going live. Live is um, happening now. But it's not the substantive uh, life. It's, it's related to live and life, but it's an adjective, meaning that it's happening now. And so live dates, not okay. recorded. So actually, when we have recorded albums, they can, they can actually still be live. But how can that be? Because they're not really live, but... Sometimes if you have a recording, a CD or something like this of a, your favorite band, it could be a live recording. How can that be? What, what could that be? What's the difference there between a live recording and a studio recording? Ah, uh, okay. Um, I see. Uh, live is, uh, is uh, um, for example, a concert. Yes, so, but it's not okay. live anymore, is it? It's live. But we use the words live, it's trying to record that moment, capture the moment when it's live. So it's called live. And um, yeah, okay. now we have some words there, don't we? Let's have a look back. We've got freed up. So can anybody give me a good formal verb? I say formal verb, but what I really mean is a single word verb for freed up. Freed up. You don't have to capture all of the meaning, but something that's in the region of the meaning of freed up, to free up something. I'm wondering, I, w I often wonder why Hazel doesn't come into the chat, in, into the live chat. Are you here? Uh, uh, yeah. Yes, um, to postpone, no. To postpone, um, no, 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 not postpone. Postpone would match with another phrasal verb to put off. Don't put it off until tomorrow. Put it off. Yeah. Do it today, manlana. So no. put off, postpone. So freed up goes with something else. What does freed up go with? Maybe it's not an exact match. Uh, to to give someone time. If you free up cash for something else, then I think you reallocate it. Reallocate. Yes. Yeah. So it's already allocated, but you or you um, 
free it up, maybe there's another verb. Because you release it. Free it up to release it. Yeah, free it. And we've got looked into, so we know that one. Mm -hmm. Right, let's move on then. So, um, what a, oh, he's, Hipfe, it looks like you're going to take a turn reading here. Would you mind? Shall I? Let me have a Why look. Not? Let's go for the next one now. That's D. Just a moment. I'll move it down. Yeah, it'd be nice to hear you read. I haven't heard you read for a while. So, okay. there you go. <laughs> Blog. Whew. Kids these days. Then there's Blog. Aka Sophie. Abby, Abby, Faith, and Gina. Whose prospects seem rosy because after the success of teen boy bands, Busted and McFly, lots of record companies are hovering around, hovering around girl groups. That would be Who hovering. Hovering sounds sorry, like yes. you're doing your homework, yes. your housework. Yes, yeah. yes sorry. I, I like, uh, I tend to mix uh, these two words up. Yes. Um, hovering around girl groups who can play their instruments. But their manager, Jeremy Nagy, is realistic knowing that landing a deal with a label is just the first ring on a very shaky la ladder, ladder and doesn't necessar necessarily mean that a single will get made. One of his other acts signed to Sunny a couple of years ago had 800,000 pounds spent on them before the first single and parted company before the first single and parted company of the label not long after that single got to number 10. So the recording companies are cautious, keeping costs down, getting bloke above the ra radar. 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 Radar will. He reckons cost one hundred thousand pounds. It's good that there is a perceived market for this type of group, but it's become like the space race, Nagi says. It's first man on the moon stuff. People are signing acts like this now. So we've got to make sure we get attention and that people know we're here, even if we don't have a deal. Yes, okay, great. Uh, notice that you read it like Nagi says, and we were speaking about that earlier, so yeah. we usually pronounce says as S, like says, and not says, and that's what you did. That's good. Um, company, though, I think sometimes you sound a little bit too company, um, not ka companies are hovering around. Let's have a look at some of the language. Could you explain what this metaphor about the ladder is all about? The first rung on the ladder. A shaky uh, what do you think that... Can you just explain that to us? What, what that means? It's, it means it's, it's very unsure. It's a bit... Um, uh, and, but why the first rung? Yeah, um, uh, it means the first step no. is 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 difficult. Shaky. Uh, it's uh, uh, landing deal with a label is just the f no. It's, it, yes, it's just the first step on a difficult way, maybe. Uh, un unstable. Yes, it's it's unstable, unstable it's safety, yes. and it's the first step, not the end of it all. Some people might believe that if you get a recording contract, that's it, you're going to be a success. But it's only the beginning of your problems, yes. not the end. So it's the, just the first rung on a very shaky ladder. So a rung on a ladder is one of those bars. Uh, does the bar, do, do, do rungs on ladders um, usually go Horizontally or vertically? Vertically. Horizontal. Horizontally, they go. They go horizontally, because the the rung 
is a short bar which goes across. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at, at D again and see if there's any interesting um, phrasal verbs or language there. Um, hovering around, that was one of them. Can we explain that in another way? It's something to do with um, where they are, yeah, and what that. they're doing. And, yes, uh, Andrea, what do you think about hovering around? Could you tell us what you think about the meaning of hovering around? So, lots of record companies are hovering around girl groups. <clears throat> um. Uh. It shows some kind of interest, doesn't it? That they're in the area or in physically uh, where they are, just around them, in the same vicinity, the same place, because they're interested in them. Okay. Well, let's let's go on to E. Well, can you read a bit more, um, Andrea, from E? If I move the screen now, uh, Jenny. Queen? Jeannie Queen, yes. Okay. Here we go. Jeannie Queen. It's the last one. Also, there's an unsigned girl trio, Jeannie Queen, in Liverpool. They first came to light 12 months ago when one of their songs popped into people's inbox as a, an MP3. Just one of them days sounded like a hit. The rest of the song turned out to be amazing, but even they had been dismissed by almost, of, by almost every major label. The band is managed by Andy McCluskey. We've seen some unseen local pop groups, say, says Hannah from the band. And the more we see, we see them uh, being messed around by their mess managers. The more we realize how luckily we, ha we are to have Andy. One of them, Laurin, has now quit. But the band have just recorded a techno epic and there's a chance they'll make it to the big time. Last year, McCluskey took a holiday. Standing on a beach in California, uh, it hit me that if I stood on that beach for the next two years, Rather than continuing with Jeannie Queen, I'd be uh, to 205,000 uh, pounds better off. I thought to myself, why am, not, why am I doing this? Yes, thank you. Um, so actually we've got some more phrasal verbs there, but let me look at the pronunciation first of all. So, starting off with almost. Almost, be careful not to say almost, but almost. Almost. And um, another one was chance, so uh, um, don't say it in the same way that you might in, in um, French or Italian or something. Just say chance, not chance or something. So, ch chance. So, um, I'll read it through again because there were one or two other words which I remember now that um, I'm looking for. So also, there's an unsigned girl trio, Genie Queen, in Liverpool. They first came to light 12 months ago. Now, came to light, I should highlight that one because it, it's a phrasal verb, to come to light. Could anyone give me an equivalent verb for come to light? Uh. They first, what, 12 months ago, they first came to light. Maybe became famous. I think that's a bit further on down the road. Uh, if you come to light before that, so could you change it to another verb? Because became famous is more than coming to light. It's a little bit later. Because you need to come to light and then become famous. Uh, they began their uh, um, activity. Yes, 
Um, can you find one word which might be good for this? One verb. I have one, but then maybe appeared. 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 Yes. So they first came to light 12 months ago when one of their songs popped into people's inboxes as an MP3. Just one of them days sounded like a hit. The rest of the songs turned out to be amazing. Turned out. Can you give me a verb for turned out? Or a, an explanation? Turned out. Sometimes it's difficult to find one word for a phrasal verb, but can you give me the meaning of turned out? If something turns out, then finally this is what happened. This transpired or this is how it finally the end result it turned out to be amazing so uh, but even they had been dismissed by almost every major label what is a label here by every major label in the music business they used to speak about labels A label is something you stick on something. But what do they mean when they speak about a label? Um, discographic um, industry, maybe. Well, they're actually, the label is the th thing or the object or the emblem or s something graphic which represents a company. So here, the word label is just another name for company. And in the music business, they often use this word label. So, which label are you on, and rather than which company have you signed to? So the label is just the company. So EMI is a label, and um, Apple was one, and there was quite a few new ones all the time. The band is managed by Andy McCluskey. And when you were reading, I want you to try to notice the uh sound sometimes. Because in other languages, people tend to say McCluskey or something like this, but it's Kluskey, nice k uh, up, cl Andy McCluskey. We've seen some unsigned local pop groups, says Anna from the band. And the more we see them, being messed around, so messed around is a phrasal verb which should go on the list. Can anyone tell me what messed around means? It's a difficult one to explain, isn't it? Maybe you know what it means. I think in that context it could mean uh, they are a bit badly treated by the manager. Yes, in a certain kind of way, I think. If, if I yes. say that I'm being messed around by somebody, then it's slightly different than bad treatment. It, yes, it's not... <laughs> it's not good for us, it's true. It's not good for us, but it, there's something about the way the manager is behaving. Maybe they, he doesn't really care too much for us and as a result he is changing his mind to suit himself and we are being messed around. He's changing things maybe sometimes. Not sticking to one particular plan but messing around, changing things. Yes. Yes. It could be that. Uh, the more we, we realize how lucky we are to have Andy. One of them, Loreen, has now quit, but the band have just recorded a techno epic, and there's a chance they'll make it to the big time. 
So what is making it to the big time? Um, any idea, Helder, about making it to the big time? What's this big time? I think your microphone's muted. It's an expression. It's an expression. Mm -hmm. um, big time is in an appro appropriate time or in no. Anybody at the big time? What what can we say about making it to the big time? I think it it might uh, mean to be a great success. Yeah, if you make it to the big time, you're famous and, and a great success, a star. Okay. Um, you've made it to the big time. Make it is su succeed, and the big time is, you know, you're under the bright lights and famous. So make it to the big time, succeed in becoming famous. Last year, McCluskey took a holiday. Standing on a beach in California, it hit me that if I stood on that beach for the next two years, rather than continuing with Jeannie Queen, I'd be £250,000 better off. I thought to myself, why am I doing this? <laughs> yes, I might think that. Why am I doing this? <laughs> so, let's have a look and see if we can uh, answer any of the questions. So, we have some questions about this. Um, Here's some questions, but I think um, the questions I'd like to try first of all are these. These are more difficult, though, so we'll see how they, these go. So um, let's find somebody who is funding their own career. Funding, that means giving the money, Support. providing the money, funding their own career. So who is funding their own career? Maybe it's too difficult for us at the moment to remember all this. It's a bit yes. like homework. So let's go down to the bottom and um, have a look at these questions. So, general questions. What kind of contract do hopeful pop stars often want to sign? Um, who can say something about that? So, what, is, what kind of contract do people want to sign? What is it about? What is this contract? Helder, any ideas about contracts and signing? Can you say anything about that? Yes, uh, but I, I, I don't, I don't know what, um, what uh, the real, the real term to to use. Uh, what kind of contract? I Why see. are they signing contracts? Why is there a contract? And what is to, it for? To record, to record uh, a, a song, or um, to but record. Why do, why do we need to sign a piece of paper? Why do we need to sign a contract to do this? Yeah. To um, yes. Uh, to be. Difficult question, isn't it? Yeah. It's all to do with business, isn't it? Business and um, making sure that you're going to get the money for what you ha are for the work. My job. Hmm? Hello, Abdu. Nice to see you. Thank you. I'm okay, let's finish. Let's finish on an easy question then. An easy question. Easier. What kind of song is a ballad? Anybody? What kind of song is a ballad? Soft, soft and gentle. Gentle. Yeah. Does, it, does it have to have words? Maybe not. Romantic. Romantic sometimes, yes. Melodic. Melodic, yeah. Mm -hmm. Romantic sometimes, yeah. Uh, Melodic. Uh, okay. So thanks for coming, everybody. Please don't forget that you can join the group, Verbling student group that I have, so I um, hope you can join that. I'm going to go to my next lesson straight away now, so 
I hope to see you again as well. That was a little bit interesting. Lots of phrasal verbs. I'll check them later too. We'll go through those and see if we know them very well. See if we can match their meanings. So, so do you have a class after this class? Well, I, I have to end this one because we start new lessons on every hour. So I'm going to start another one right now, Abdu. So I'll end this one, say goodbye, and then please join in the next lesson. See you soon. Bye. Thank you.